Lesson two, the accounting equation. This accounting equation, as you might guess what the word equation means, something has to equal. And in accounting, we take everything that a business owns, and we're gonna call these things owned, and we're gonna compare it with on the things owned, do we owe anybody any money? For example, if we own a house with a $300,000 market value, my question is, does this person who owns the house worth 300,000 have any debts on the house? And let's say that we owe a big bill to the bank. So we'll call this things owed or debts owed. Things owned would be like a mortgage on the house, say for $200,000. If a homeowner owns a house worth 300,000 and it has a mortgage or a debt on that house, the equity in this house or the net worth that the owner has in the house is called, well, it's called equity. A fancy name for equity or a fancy name for net worth is called equity. So the, uh, the name of this lesson is called the accounting equation, meaning something on the left, things owned, must always equal the sum of debts owed and the, uh, when added to the net worth will give you the total value. Now, things owned in accounting are called assets. Debts owed are anything payable. These are called liabilities. The difference between what an entity owns on the left will always equal what it owes plus its, as I mentioned a moment ago, another name for net worth is called equity or owner's equity. Now, we can abbreviate assets with A on the left and L plus E on the right. And sometimes I tell my students that this equation is not a root beer, but it's a pale ale. A on the left, L and E on the right. Now, if we subtracted L from each side of the equation, we would have A minus L equals E, and this is the same fundamental equation, except we've subtracted L from the left side and we've subtracted L from the right side. So we have assets minus liabilities equals equity. In accounting, we sometimes call A minus L net assets. To summarize, this, the fundamental accounting equation is assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. We can restate this equation as A minus L equals E. This brings us to the end of our second video.